purpose of this brief YouTube is to show you how we can stack data which is in a sort of column format. So first of all, let's import some data, uh, which is called NCP. Here it is here, NCP, open. And let's take a look at the data set. You can see that there are three columns and there are some observations for each one. So this is the uh, time taken to recognize certain products by employees at three plants. Now, if we try to do some sort of a means test, etc., you see it won't let us do it because it only highlights the data that we want. We want to do one-way ANOVA so that we can compare are the means the same or not the same. So what we need to do is to go to data, active data set, and we need to stack the variables. So we want to stack each of these three columns. And we need to change the name, NCP stack, or whatever you like. Now the variable, the thing that keeps changing is the time that they take. So change it to time. And the factor is the thing that separates each of the groups. So let's call that the plant. Okay, now we have a new variable. The, the active variable set is changed to NCP stack. Let's view it. And you can see that now it's stacked by time and by plant. If we go to a box plot now, to graphs, we can do a box plot. Now the variable that changes is time, and let's identify the outliers automatically. We want to plot it by groups. We know we've got three groups. So plant is the group that we chose, so go OK. Now we have um, a box plot of those three has come up and we can see that uh, the means seem quite different. And there under 12, that is the outlier. There's one outlier for Dallas. Notice that there is no uh, name for this. It doesn't give us any name. But we could, we could go back to the R Commander Outlook output. And here, let's change that and put in main equals and then double commas uh, let's say plant times or whatever you like to call it and then submit and when we go back to R we can see that now we have a new heading for the box plot so you can go back into R commander and change change the output as you wish now, the purpose of doing this whole thing was in order to run an ANOVA test. So now we've got the data stacked. We should be able to go back to statistics, means, and now one-way ANOVA appears. So let's run a one-way ANOVA test. Our group is plant and time is the response variable. Let's do a pairwise comparison of means. So check that. Because we're ANOVA, we're testing whether they are all the same or there's some difference. The null hypothesis is that they're all the same. But it could be that maybe two out of the three are the same and one is different. So here is our output here. And we can see that, first of all, you scroll down, you will find that the F, F statistic is very small, 0 0.0027. So we've rejected the null hypothesis that they're all the same. This does not mean that two, maybe, of them are the same. One is different. If you look down here, this is the multiple comparison of means, the Chuki contrasts. 
and we can see here it's checked each of them pairwise, pair by pair. So the first of all the test of Dallas and Atlantis being zero. We fail to reject that null hypothesis. You can see that's 0.26893. It's larger than 0 0.05. Seattle and Atlanta, we would reject that null hypothesis. They're very different. Seattle and Dallas, mm, borderline case at 0.05. Thank you.